Consider diabetes. It's a condition that has many underpinnings. They are molecular, cellular, societal, genetic, and behavioral. It's a complex illness that vexes doctors and patients alike. It's also very common, a condition that physicians in all specialties encounter every day. That's why the Carver College of Medicine has chosen diabetes, along with more than a dozen other conditions like hypertension, heart failure, mood disorders, and cancer, as exemplars in the New Horizons curriculum. Our exemplars represent common conditions that students like you will see every day in the clinic and that act as links between medicine's foundational sciences and clinical knowledge. Even later in your clinical clerkships, when you might expect to concentrate on seeing patients and diagnosing and treating their illnesses, you'll continue to use the exemplars to bind your clinical skills to your scientific and societal knowledge, creating a cohesive whole forever ready for you to call upon. There are two ways to understand how the Carver College of Medicine uses exemplars. The first way is as the backbone of our curriculum. Just as two strands of DNA are connected to each other by base pairs of A, T, C, and G, the three strands of our curriculum, clinical and professional skills, mechanisms of health and disease, and medicine and society, are connected to each other by the exemplars. Because each exemplar has features which can be used to illustrate its biochemical underpinnings, its societal influences, and its treatments. Because these exemplars involve multiple systems from the cellular to the societal, they will be revisited many times in our spiral curriculum, and thus can be used as anchors for the knowledge and skills you'll accrue as you proceed on your path to becoming a knowledgeable and compassionate physician. Another way to understand our exemplars is that they are a way to put medical knowledge into a context that includes the patient. Picture medical knowledge as a pyramid. At the bottom of the pyramid are many fundamental bits of knowledge, molecules and biochemical pathways, for instance. As we move up the pyramid, we see these bits integrated into new concepts, the mechanisms of cellular life and the principles of genetics, perhaps. Even further up, we find the behavioral and societal factors that underlie many modern conditions, as well as the clinical reasoning skills used by experienced physicians every day. At the top of the pyramid, we have the patient and the symptom that brought her to you. Many medical schools' curricula start at the bottom of the pyramid, where fundamental knowledge lives, and students work their way up to the patient at the top. And historically, that approach has worked well. But medical information is increasing at an exponential rate, and the pyramid has become both wider and deeper as that information accumulates, thereby moving the patient and her problem farther and farther from that historical starting point. In contrast, the Carver College of Medicine's New Horizons curriculum starts with the patient and her presenting problem, that is, at the top of the pyramid. You'll progressively expand your knowledge with each revisitation of the exemplars, anchoring progressively deeper understanding of the fundamental concepts. Furthermore, our pyramid doesn't separate the different areas of medicine from each other, but teaches them as an integrated whole. By starting at the top where the patient lives, you'll be able to better provide care to your patients. You'll not only understand their diseases, but the effects their symptoms have on their day-to-day -day lives and their goals for treatment. And you will more rapidly acquire the tools needed to continue your learning after medical school and throughout your professional life, reaching further and further down the pyramid so that you can treat any diabetic patient regardless of the complexities and intractability of her disease. And as new treatments for diabetes are discovered, you'll be able to understand how and why they work and whether they're applicable to your patient. The New Horizons curriculum exemplars are yet another answer to the question, why Iowa?